That's how I was when I went to Canada. It was my first tournament. I wanted to throw over 200. And I did it. And I was happy. And I was, I was telling somebody earlier, I think it was John, about how. Or maybe I said it to you. Tell me if I said it to you. Okay, I can't I remember who I said it to. Now. Now. But, you know, I, I tried to remember how much joy I had when I was a kid. And, you know, when I was just happy to run out in the woods and, and chuck the knife into the tree and stuff, you know. And it used to make me feel so good, you know. And, and sometimes we forget that stuff, you know what I mean? You get caught up in yeah. you wanting to beat your story. Yep. And, you know, yep. And, yep. And, and, you know um, and none of that really matters. It's just about the joy of it. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Good attitude. It's funny. I, I, I'm a little bit younger, but I've been the same kind of age since Bobby Brand and John Bailey. You know who John Bailey is? Uh, yep. Florida. Okay. You know, Nothing about it, but I know who I bought my, my first I bought it directly from Harry McAvoy when he was still alive in the 80s. And one summer, when I was about 20 years old, I had my first job, a pro time job. I almost spent my vacation by driving out to Michigan and meeting Harry McAvoy. That's how strongly I felt about it. But I didn't go. And I regret that until the day I died. But what's interesting to me is how many people he made feel that way. And that's how Bobby Brown and John Bailey, they got their cars in the this guy. You know, and this is before the days of the internet and everything. It's, it's because the guy who talked to you on the phone, like, you, you, well, you were a son. You know. yeah. Exactly, no same type of thing, yeah. Because we yeah. talk about tight. Yeah. Together. Right, getting some yeah. good full spins. But if at all. But, I, you know, you get to know somebody a little bit. Talk to you personally. Yeah. 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 Oh, there was three bullseyes in that set. It was a very good comeback. You'll never regret that. Well, I went again this February, but really, I don't regret it. I love the trip, I love the drive, I like the show. So, it was a nice trip down. I played this golf in Mississippi. I had fun, you know. It was a good trip. I laughed at myself the other day. I saw the little video clip of Pat throwing when he was dancing. Did you see the one with the soggy bottom boys? He's out there doing the. the he said he did a hundred in a row. I want to see that. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't tried that one. I, I tied for the other games that uh, Rick had done. The little dots. The little yeah, dots. Yeah, yeah me and that other guy tied. And, and, and then I, I lost. I saw you throw. Yeah. Did you lose? Yeah, I lost the throw or the tiebreaker. Oh, thing. okay. How long did you have to do the tiebreaker? Oh, no, uh, Rick did a tiebreaker to decide who won. He came up with the strangest thing. I couldn't. I thought he would just do a drawing or something. Yeah. He took three, I don't know how he thought it was. He took three big triangle shoes. Or no, six. There were three with my name and three with, uh, it was Jay Wiseman that ended up winning. Yeah. He took three with triangles, cardboard triangles or paper triangles with each of our names. Uh, three for me and three for him. He puts them on a target, he pins them up so they're all different ways with points sticking out all over with the names facing it. So then he stands back and he threw three knives and stuck them in his triangle. He took them all off and he laid them out and he counted the holes in each one and the name that had the most holes through their triangle and one and he had one more through the triangle. <laughs> kind of involved. It's a busy mind. <laughs> I haven't tried the new one yet. With the yeah, I'm gonna have to buy a new hawk. I mean, a hundred pounds. I'm gonna have to buy a new camera card. That's making me feel down long. Well, he said. So he must have done it. I mean, he's got to have his kids out here. No, I know. He said he's got something. He's got it. Sometimes I check them. You know, half wide and half because I wasn't sure. Are you sure that's a five? It's a Ruben you know, he just walked away from it, you know, like I can't believe he doubted me. You know? <laughs> and it always was, you know. Alright. Last round, half spin. Yeah, we get along pretty good actually. <laughs> I really enjoy spending time in there. Zero. Comes off a lot. I don't know what's the word, but uh rough around the phone. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Talking about Pat Manners? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'd, again this February. Spent another couple of weeks with him. I'd like to get to see him again. I've not seen him since 2013, whenever I went down there to Blanco, Texas. What state are you in? Uh, me? Yeah, they are. Uh, Virginia. Right in the little tiptoe section of that borders Kentucky maybe and Tennessee. Can, maybe if I go down there again, I should pick you up. I'll bring you down. It'd be good to see him again. Because I see him down through that way, you know, when I go down to visit. Because I got a brother in D.C. Yeah. So I go down that way and then come west. Yeah, I've not seen him since 2013. We all camped out there in the bottom at uh, Camp Blanco. Yep. <laughs> Around the campfire. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> the stories. He was telling some good stories that first year I was down in Blanco. Yeah. It's the best part of that. Well, that was the best part of that entire event was the campfire in Camp Blanco. Just all the stories and the camaraderie of that. <laughs> it's a shame that that's a thing of the past now. Beautiful, beautiful one and a half. There you go, Ray. How are you doing? Are you enjoying watching? Are you getting bored? Good set of one and a half, man. Good set. Yeah, I should have spent a little bit more time on it myself. <laughs> Choked it pretty hard. The sun went down awful quick, too. Walk up cold like I said, if I had my way, I would, I would not use the ring. It's hard. It's hard to walk up there. Yeah. Oh, yeah.
Why do you want to use mine? Yes, please. Um, she's negotiating with herself. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, what that kid is Are you ready? Yeah, sure. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, plenty of time, Karma. Just we don't have time to change outfits or anything. Don't you call me T Rex no more. No, that's T Rex. His name's T Rex. Wait, I'm over there. Shower, T Rex. I'm doing good. Look at the glass. Everybody's going. Yeah, having a point. You know what? It's a shame I need to get more practice time, man. I was banging in three years. I was banging in one and a half last night. I was throwing in one and a half last night. Unless you got a long handle. Yeah, so that be no fun. Unless you got a long handle. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you get some points and it's a combined score, so. You ready? Yeah. You may as well draw. Oh, good, You'll find that they're going to be a lot easier to throw than knives. I'll tell you that right now. Once you get the feel for them, you'll pretty much will start to stick them every throw. I just got a few people throw the knives. So, $45. Oh, I got some cheap china stuff. But that's what that's going to be. I'll tell you what, you're probably never get a chance to buy that again. Because they don't even have it on the current but I did website. Hang on to that. I'm just going to offer shipping here in the hour. Five rounds. Twenty rounds. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my hands are too small. I know. I got it. I'm coming. 